All right, so I know these past few weeks have been difficult for everybody. For me, it's been a really hard time transitioning from making videos full time for clients to now having what seems like all the time in the world. Originally, I had thought that this would be a great time for me to catch up on making videos for myself, these videos that I make for YouTube. I had spent the last week and a half working on a video about how to be productive when working from home, but somewhere along the line, I lost motivation and it felt wrong of me to finish that video at such an unproductive time for myself and instead address the issue at hand. Slumps, walls, funks, whatever you call it, they're inevitable. And that's why it's important to have a strategy to help you climb out of it. Today, I want to talk about a few of the strategies that I use to help me bounce back. What I really like about these strategies is they often make me feel like I got even more done than just the task at hand. My first step along the way is to look for new inspiration. Inspiration can come in many shapes and sizes, but here are some examples of where I find inspiration and more specifically where I found it this time. Reading can be a great source of inspiration. That might seem obvious for some people, but I'm not the most avid reader. Anytime I do pick up a book though, I can almost guarantee it's going to help generate some sort of idea for me. The book I'm reading right now is called The Art of Seeing. It's a book that one of my photography professors gave to me and it's really helped me rethink my approach to making work. I'll read a quick excerpt. We expect photographs to look a certain way and to contain certain subjects. When they don't, our first reaction is rejection. But an important part of seeing is the suspension of knee-jerk reactions and a re-examination of what a photograph is and what it can be. Just one paragraph from this book alone makes me want to get back to creating. As a filmmaker, I obviously heavily rely on films for inspiration, but no matter what your career is, films can inspire you. I'd never seen Breaking Bad, which could probably qualify as a sin for a filmmaker, but I figured what better time to start than now it could help rejog my creative mind. The entire plot and the way it unfolds is truly a work of art. I love how the show gives you just enough information for you to infer what's going to happen next, just so they can turn it all upside down on you. Another great place to look for inspiration is in music. I can often imagine visuals to accompany a song, which helps me generate ideas, or even just to set the mood. One band that always clears my mind and helps me think straight is Beach House. And another one's actually YouTube. I found so much inspiration for nearly every aspect of my life right here on YouTube. Whether it's learning something new or simply showing you a new perspective, YouTube's a great place to find inspiration. Here are some channels I like to watch when I feel unmotivated. All right, after looking for some new inspiration, which hopefully has at least helped me begin to become motivated, my next tactic is to collaborate. Collaboration is one of the best ways to get the ball rolling. Odds are someone in your life has a project that they could use your help on, or are in a similar position as you. Working together creates accountability. Even with all that's going on right now, we can still collaborate. I'm currently working on writing a new film with two of my friends, which can be done remotely. Even if your friends might not share the exact same interests as you, oftentimes there's some sort of middle ground where you can work on a collaborative project. This next one might seem too simple to be of any help, but believe it or not, this alone can help dig me out quite a bit. A great place to start is a change of locations, which for me usually means leaving my office and going to one of my favorite coffee shops to do some work. Right now, that might not be all that possible, but even moving from my office to my living room or backyard when it's nice out can be enough to get something done. It's such a simple and easy thing to do, but it can oftentimes go overlooked. This next strategy might sound a little counterproductive, but I only resort to it when I really am having trouble finding motivation, but that is to change focus entirely. I rarely have to go this far, but if it does come down to it, I will find a new source of passion which can help recharge me and I can return to my work with a new energy. For me, this usually comes in the form of a new hobby. Another way I regain motivation is learning something new, even if it's about something I'm already involved in. And as a filmmaker, this usually involves learning a new process or tool or technique. Focusing on just one of these aspects adds a new interest into filmmaking as a whole for me, and it motivates me to apply whatever I've learned into my current project. My most recent example of this would be when I learned how to use DaVinci Resolve, which is a program that's very similar to my current editor, Premiere Pro, but it also has many small differences. 
and it's learning these small differences that really, at the core of it, help bring motivation back into my project. Thank you for watching the video and for your support. I know it's a weird time, but I encourage everybody to use the time to reflect on what they want most, even if that's just taking the time for yourself. I hope this video has helped you find motivation wherever it might be, and please let me know what methods you use to regain motivation. Thank you.